I'm going to be ranking all mini games on the high. Please note that these are all my opinion. And without further ado, let's start off with Ground Wars. Ground Wars is a game where you throw things at other players. Each kill grants one bit of leverage for your team. But the team that has the most area claimed wins. There are power-ups that you can get while you play, and it can do some cool stuff. But there are downsides to this game. The game is just the same every single time, and there's nothing much that is added to it. That's why Ground Wars is going in C tier. Next up is Survival Games. Survival Games is like any classic Hunger Games. There are chests scattered around the map, and the last one standing wins. I really like Survival Games. The maps are pretty cool, and they just give a nice touch to the game itself. A tier. The Bridge is a mini game that requires you to score a point. The Hive has kits to pick from, which each has its own unique tactic to survive and win. There are many strategies to win in this, so it's going in B tier. Did I give Capture the Flag a chance? Sure, the maps are great and stuff, but there are three main stereotypes. The Sweat, the Bow Spammer, and the Average Person. Typically, I am the average person, but, but boy do I hate the Sweats and the Bow Spammers. The game isn't that bad, but it's going in D tier. Parkour Worlds has four main parts to it. Each part has its own parkour map. You can collect stars throughout the game, which you can use those stars to purchase other cosmetics. I pretty much enjoyed the game, but the last parkour level, which is Dragon's Lair, is super hard. Poor mobile players, B tier. The next one I am going to be ranking is Murder Mystery. Murder Mystery grants roles to players, just like Among Us. The task is to find out who the murderer is, and then get rid of them. Doing so will end the round and the murderer loses. I love the maps, as each map has its own twist to it. A tier. Because it is Halloween, I will include Ghost Invasion. In this game, there are two roles, Ghost and Human. Ghosts try to infect the humans by blowing up, and the humans try to zap them. The game is really challenging and fun, and that's why I masked it. A tier. The next game is Bed Wars. Originally Treasure Wars, Bed Wars is Hive's most popular game at around 10,000 people. It is really fun to play with friends and is very strategic. Bed Wars is amazing. Its maps are very fun to play on and you can complete challenges to earn rewards, S tier. When you think of strapping, you think of Sky Wars. Sky Wars is very fun just playing and grinding. It has unique items that are similar to Hypixel's items. Sky Wars is giving special items each week, which is pretty cool. I don't usually mind Skyward Switch, but I do mind hackers. Around 70% of Skyward Solo's games IQ have hackers in them, and they suck. It kind of just makes me want to quit. But overall, Skyward is fun. B tier. Just Build is a game where you just build. It's like any other building mini game. You can choose from different themes and rate other players' builds. The bad thing about this game is how slow you get experience. The only way to get experience is at the end of the match, which takes so long. C tier. Hide and seek is a pretty fun game. You can choose a block to hide from the seekers, and you can taunt them, which gains experience. It's pretty fun, and I just like tossing the other seekers. B tier. Death Run is a parkour based game, and the first person to finish wins. There are people launching traps to kill other players. Each trap is based on each map, which gives Death Run a cool design. B tier. Block Party is a skilled game where you have to stay focused and alert. When a color is picked, you must stand on that color. On the way, you can collect power-ups to help you get to that color faster. During the game, a catchy song plays, which is just a cool feature. Oh my gosh, this is sick, bro. I enjoy this game a lot, and I also maxed it. S tier. Gravity is a boring game. Yep, it's just kind of repetitive over and over again, and it's, it's just kind of annoying. That's probably just my skill, though. F tier. The last game I'm going to be ranking is Block Drop. It's also another game where you have to stay alert. You cannot stand on a block for too long, or you will fall and go to the next layer below. You can also collect power-ups that will help you throughout the game. A tier. This is the tier list, and I hope you enjoyed.